So three kinds of fields. We have gravitational fields and they attract or affect mass. We have electric fields, they affect charge. And those two we're going to look at comparing and contrasting. And then our third kind of field is a magnetic field and that affects moving charge. So uh, that might be news to you, the idea that magnetic fields affect moving charge. But the reason that uh, a piece of iron can have a magnetic field around it is because of the movement of uh, electrons inside the, the, the iron. And you might say, well, every uh, metal has free electrons. That's true. And it's not just about the free electrons, uh, but uh, certain metals, ferromagnetic metals, uh, primarily for our consideration, have a movement of charge such that there is a net movement of charge and the movement of charge causes a magnetic field and is affected by magnetic fields. So a stationary charge will not be affected by a magnetic field, a moving charge will, because the moving charge produces a magnetic field. So, we're going to compare and contrast then gravitational and electric fields as we go through. So what is a field exactly? Before we can really talk about fields, we need to say what a field is. So I have said there are three kinds of field here. What do we mean by a field? Well, a field is a region where mass or charge or moving charge experiences a force. So a gravitational field is a region where mass experiences force. An electric field is a region where charge experiences force. And a magnetic field is a region where moving charge experiences a force. So here you have a definition which covers all three fields. And when you're asked for the definition of a gravitational field, it is a region where mass experiences a force. An electric field, a region where charge experiences a force and so on. So that's our definition of a field. We know what a field is. We know the three kinds of field that we're going to talk about. We know that two of those fields we need to be able to compare and contrast. And as an aside here, the work you did on circular motion and to a lesser extent simple harmonic motion, that's going to come into this really heavily. So you need to be very secure on your circular motion and your SHM in order to be able to answer questions on fields. So. Field strength then, having talked about what a field is, the three kinds of field we're going to talk about, we need to be able to talk in understandable, meaningful ways about the strength of the field. So we define the strength very specifically as the force on unit, whatever it is we're talking about, unit mass, unit positive charge. We have to think about that. Now here's one of our differences between gravitational electric fields. Mass doesn't have a sign, doesn't have a polarity, charge does. So field strength being a force, it's a vector. And so we have to talk about a particular kind of charge. We could have said minus one coulombs, we didn't. We said plus one coulombs. So that is our definition uh, of uh, electric field strength. So. It is the force on one kilogram or plus one coulombs or unit charge length. We'll come back to that when we talk about uh, magnetic fields. Uh, you can see there uh, an indication of the difference in the treatment of gravitational and electric and magnetic. These are quite simple. The force on one kilogram, the force on plus one coulombs. But then you have force on unit charge length. What do we mean by that? I'm not getting into that right now, but we will come back to that. So the field strength at a point in the field is the force on, in the case of a gravitational field, one kilogram placed at that point in the field. So you have 
three kinds of field, gravitational, electric, magnetic. You have what is affected by those kinds of field. A broad definition of what we mean by a field, a region. Note I'm saying region, not area, not, not volume, not space. It's quite, it's quite specific. It's a region where either mass or charge or moving charge experiences a force. So you have three kinds of field. What's affected by those fields? How we define a field? How we define field strength?